this picture of these two um, scholars, black scholars, um, is a debate they were having uh, relating to Obama and his effectiveness as a black politician. And um, uh, he's saying, um, Mr. West, that uh, Obama is just like the other black politicians, they're effective when they get into office. Now, she's saying that there are two reasons why he's doing this. Maybe he's jealous and uh, he wanted to be invited to the inauguration, but he wasn't. And so he has an axe to grind and so he comes out talking stupid. But in another video, when I saw this brother, I mean, I, I grew up among black people and I love black people and all this stuff, but you know, black folks do some stuff that you, you just got to stand aside and analyze it and forget this inferiority thing or whether, you know, you're, you're, you're against black or whatever, all right? Um, from the first time I started hearing this guy coming up, I was I was amazed that, you know, he coming up with some ideas and so forth, but I wasn't sure of them because he doesn't seem to me to show a lot of scholarship and that when you're making a point, the more, not necessarily authorities you could um, site would give it credibility in my opinion it has to be that you have to show other disciplines what you're saying comports in other areas for example if one is coming up with an agricultural policy and his math is wrong and his uh, biology is wrong and his chemistry is wrong then you could conclude that we are talking about in agriculture is a waste of time that's what I'm talking about so this brother basically is saying that um, you know when black leaders get in they just don't do anything to the black community. And this is to ignore history and religion and so many other different disciplines that you would hope that he has some expertise in because he taught religion at you know, Harvard Divinity School and other places like that. For example, he seemed not to remember or know that black people ruled the world at one time and that we did screw up just like every other civilization, just like the Babylonians, the Medes and the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, Germany. And these guys right here now, we all messed up, okay? And so we were taken away from the powerhouse. And subsequently we became slaves. But we had enslaved people before. We had enslaved everybody. So this is like payback time. You never hear him saying stuff like that. You know, he got a job as opposed to me. Because if I got, these white folks would never give me a job, like a professor at Harvard or Yale or, or Princeton, because... I, I'm going to be the man that's going to really come to the scholarship. And, and I don't want that. I just want somebody who's going to come to the black place and talk crazy and, and, and get nothing done, like this guy. So when you're looking at uh, black people's um, situation, you got to look at it that um, when they get elected, it's not a black community, a black country like Jamaica or Haiti. It's a white country. And uh, we are not the majority. Black people are not a majority, so that to get things done, you have to have the majority. So if you're one of six on a committee, and you want to say, uh, fund something, job creation, or some skill development in the black community, and the white folks vote it on, what can you do? Now people are thinking you're not working, but there's nothing you can propose that's going to get passed if they don't want it. Now, the president being black, what does that change? It doesn't change nothing, because as I said in another video, even when he wants to do things that are going to benefit only whites, Still, they're fighting it down because the, uh, the Republicans have an agenda, and if it is uh, in their interest to beat it up so that they could get some uh, brownie buttons or some uh, laurels or whatever, they're going to do it. So, um, this lady was very good on, on, the, on the mark, and um, I think that uh, this brother, you know, he's just like Spike Lee. Spike Lee, when he was at um, Morehouse doing journalism or whatever. He said that the oh, this and come with this racist thing. They didn't discriminate me against me. I you know he making all this money now, and I've never heard of him going in the black community sharing out money or going down there and trying to get people to you know embrace something. He's behaving like a clown in some uh, NBA match or in some football or something. He's behaving like a clown, and I'm sure that he's living in a white gated community. And I, I, I shouldn't go there, but perhaps he's married to a white woman. And maybe he's beating up these whites and knocking on the door and saying, can I join your club? Can I join your club? And you would have thought that the way he uh, fights so hard to get up, but when he get up, he will um, move in a black community, you know, live by the black folks. You know, no, 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 he's not in that. So uh, even the same brother here talking about black 
politicians, this and that. I don't think he lives in hood. I'm positive he lives down with them white boys. They don't mean, of course, the university is going to provide housing. I'm saying you're living with the white folks. So I don't know what he's talking about. But, um, you know, I don't think he's all this extraordinary scholar that he's thinking he is and that uh, Princeton is making him into. Because the dumb stuff he talked about the president basically shows that he does not have respect for black folks. And he's not an intellectual, uh, you know, he's just a pseudo um, intellectual and his scholarship should be questioned because if he's going to talk something as stupid as that that if black politicians don't help the community it shows that he's kind of like still ignorant and, and a racist so um, I, I beg to differ if I sound you know angry or whatever I'm not angry I'm just saying that this brother his scholarship is wrong just like I'll talk to a white scholarship the same way um, so you better apologize and just move on and, and, and go and learn something proper so you could you know, make some points to make us feel proud of him.